So here at the Lone Peak Trailhead, there's two, actually two options. One of them is to go up this dirt trail here. The other one is at the end. I'm going to be taking the other one. It's a little bit uh, longer. I'll see you up there. Okay, this is where the two different paths meet. You've got this one, which is the more gradual path, and that's the mountain biking trail. This is the look up. It's going to be like this for about the next two miles ish until we hit the Jacob's Ladder trailhead. All right, we are about two miles into it. This is, you know, the trail is the way we've come from. So right here, it branches. We're taking the one on the left. And the uh, one on the left there goes to Jacob's Ladder. And on Jacob's Ladder, you'll gain about 3,000 feet in about a mile. It's uh, one of the gnarlier, well, I mean, it's not technically difficult, it's just steep. The good news is, by the time you're done with that, you'll be more than halfway done with the hike, both vertically and distance-wise. It's a fun one. Enjoy. All right, we are uh, about a little over three miles into it. Nearing the top of Jacob's Ladder, Looking down, I mean, that's a, you got a pretty view out there. The reason I'm stopping the camera here, just to give you a feel for what this thing is like, we have a little bit to go to the top. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now we are at the top of Jacob's Ladder. It's the last of the trail. And here, you can see a faint trail going to the left. That's the Orson Smith trailhead. We're not taking that. We're turning to the right, heading up into the sun. So eventually, you reach a nice flat landing spot. That's the trail down. We've got a nice little flat trail ahead. And there in the distance, you see it, it's the high sharp point right in the middle. Okay, we've gone probably three and a quarter, three and a half at this point. And uh, the next mile's pretty mellow. It's going downhill. And then we're gonna cross that ridge, which you see right in front of us. Basically from here until the ridge, you just stick on the trail. Um, I'll show you where to drop off. Ah, dang, I put the camera away too early. That is a beautiful morning. And that's the meadow right there that we're heading heading into. Uh, that's a good place to camp. You can see somebody's got a little fire going. Okay, this is the trail. Right here is the trail we've been coming up. And you'll notice that we are just to the right of the canyon. The reason I've turned the camera on here is... Uh, point that out. You want to stay to the right of this little creek as you're crossing over the ridge just past the meadow. Okay, I'm up a little further. And there's a nice little drop down into this little canyon here that makes the going a lot easier. And from here, we're just going to walk up this rocky canyon to uh, pay attention to the spot so that you exit on the on the way on the way out if you don't uh, you'll find, find yourself at the top of you know a small waterfall or something and you'll have to backtrack and then and then come out this way but, but that's the shortcut as you drop down into this little little creek and follow it to the top All right, we just came to the top of this the little rocky canyon. Coming back, I mean, there's a trail that way you can take, but it's a lot more direct just to head down there and bump back onto the trail. Now, if there is any single spot to mark on your GPS, it's where you cross over the ridge, just because it's hard to find, it's, it's hard to recross the ridge coming back. I'll show you what I mean, you know, 
on the way down, but it's really easy to get lost. Um, everybody's got, it seems, a story of how they got lost hiking uh, Lone Peak. Now, once you get to this point, the other important thing is don't give up altitude. There's a trail going downhill, don't take it. There's also a trail kind of wrapping around this way. Take that one. If you can avoid giving up altitude for this next little stretch, you'll, you'll come out ahead. Um, and then I'll resume from there. Here's the view ahead. There's the summit. We're getting closer. Here's the view back. So what we're going to do next, so we're coming around here. Uh, we're, you know, we've got these granite, all these granite hills here. And just over the granite hills, there's a stream off to the right. And we're going to follow that up for a ways. But next step is just head straight up. Don't give up elevation. That's the key. All righty. We're getting closer. We just came to the top of these, uh, the knobby granite things. And uh, up ahead... <coughs> can see where we're going. Now off to the right, there's a, a pretty deep canyon. There's a creek that runs down at the bottom of that. And that creek is what we're going to follow. However, resist the temptation to drop down into it because, folks, we're heading up that way. Any elevation you go down, you're going to have to climb back up. So there's a nice little trail that follows, kind of follows it without losing much elevation. Sometimes you have to cheat and peel off that way. Uh, to avoid losing elevation, but that's that's it. Okay. Um, and by the way, you follow this little granite creek until you find yourself in a in a large bowl. I'll send a picture of that. Um, when you reach the bowl, you exit to the left. We'll get there in a minute. All right, we are now at the top of the stream, and we're into somewhat of a granite bowl. When you find yourself in this. You exit to the left, find a, there should be a route up and to the left, and you'll hit a mesa up there. All right, we well, are getting close. The peak's right there. We just came up out of the bowl and walked for a little ways, maybe a quarter mile. So here we're getting to the final, final couple of sections. Um, so we're right up, you got the 600 foot face right there. There's people who climb it. I'm not one of them. <clears throat> not without a rope anyway. So you come over here, there's a little meadow and behind it there's several chutes that you can take going up. There's one right here. I prefer one that's uh, I don't know, a little more a little more mellow that's located off to the left. But you just look for a chute and follow it up to the top. What we're going to do is wrap around and hit this thing from the back. So look for a chute and head up. Okay, that's where we just came from. See the little path down there. What's awesome about this is for the first time the views opened up. It's the Great Salt Lake way out there. There's Salt Lake City. Some other mountains. That one down there is Mount Olympus. Did that one a couple weeks ago. But what we're doing here, we're on the back, and you can see that summit there. What you want to do is aim for that little patch of trees right there. That's your cross point. That's usually where I drop my hiking poles, is right there. Okay, came up to the top. I'm by that little patch of trees. I've dropped the hiking poles sticking out so I can see them on the way down and basically you just head, head for the ridge and uh, once you get there's a little there's a little bit of a trick to get into the summit I'm switching over to a helmet cam now because I want to have both hands free uh, see well here we go all righty 
first was take a second to enjoy the view. How many places in the world that offer a view like this? But it gets better at the top, so, uh, so that's where we're headed. All right, right here is the geologic marker. A lot of folks stop here. The peak's not far, maybe a hundred yards. Getting there from here is a little tricky. I'll show you the route. If you take the right route, it's not too bad. Here we are. There's your second marker. It's not my favorite place to be, it gives me the willies. Distance 642, time. 827, we're halfway done.
All right, we're coming back down. Kind of came down a long way there. Came down through here, through the meadow, and then up here onto the rock, dropping da back down into the granite bowl and following the stream out. Don't follow it to the bottom though. Uh, same thing, you don't want to give up elevation. Go a little ways and you start peeling off to the right uh, towards the pin that you dropped where you crossed the ridge. This is the trail you follow heading out and about where those folks are you start peeling off to the right. We just barely came out of the granite bowl. So come out of the canyon and the temptation is to just follow it down when you've got water the whole way and it's almost July so you're gonna have water. But what we're gonna want to do instead is come up here and just hug up as high as we can. You can't really see it, but we're going to want to wrap around the rocks that way as opposed to going down into the bottom of the canyon and hiking up. So that's what we're doing. Continuing the walk out, you'll notice we are well above the stream and holding up tight next to the, next to the granite. And uh, you'll see it in a second. Somebody's put up, yeah, a, a big cairn there to keep you on your way. So we're gonna wrap over that way. At least that's my current plan. We'll see how it goes. Our way out now, awesome view of Utah Lake, Mount Timpanogos. Way off in the distance, you got Mount Nebo. Um, I don't know what that cairn's all about. Anyway, um, the Tim don't, don't cross this ridge. You're shooting for that rock there in the corner and you want to go just to the right of it. So there should be a path through those pines. If I'm not mistaken, it's somewhat up high. And uh, we're gonna use that to follow it out. All right. Just continuing this path, trying to cross just to the right of the high point on the ridge. Probably gonna cross right there. Just stay up high and tight. Don't wanna give up any elevation if I can avoid it the crossing spot. There's a trail here. I don't take it. <clears throat> Just follow this, whatever you call it, canyon down and told the spot we identified earlier and then you bump out onto the trail. And made it to here and this is our, it's our signal to, to get out of this and get back on the trail. Uh, turns a little bit water folly down there on for the meadow. This is where you camp. It's a really pretty spot. You got water, places to put up a tent. You got tents. Nice trail. All right, we are back to the top of, of Jacob's Ladder. You can see the trail off in the distance. It heads to uh, Horse and Smith. That's this guy right here, but we're heading on down. It's just as fun going down as it is coming up. 3,000 feet in a mile.